Welcome to the Fond du Lac Public Library's Puppet Storytime with me, Milo. I'm so happy you joined us today. I'm a little nervous because this is my first time doing story time, but I love books and I love reading. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now, for my first story time, I chose to read one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors. We are going to read, hmm, where, where did my book go? Oh, oh, good. Here it is. We are going to read Knuffle Bunny by Mo Willem. And, and I did some research. It's pronounced Knuffle Bunny with a loud K sound in the front. It's not a tricky silent K, but it's loud. Can you say it with me? Knuffle Bunny. Good job, friends. Okay, I'm going to read in the corner here and we can look at the book and the pictures above me like this. Ready? Let's start. Carnuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale by Mo Willems. Oh, oh, I like looking at these pictures. Here I see someone getting married and I see a mom and dad and a baby and I see a little family. And here I see Trixie and her knuffle bunny. Okay, let's get started. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. <laughs> she is so silly, isn't she? She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. <gasps> oh no! Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Eggle flaggle clavel! That's right replied her daddy. We're going home. Hmm. Eggle, flaggle, clavel, said Trixie again. Flaggle, clavel, wumby, flappy, hmm. snurp. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. Wah! She went boneless. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. Oh, look at Trixie. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. <gasps> he looks unhappy, right? Poor Trixie, her daddy just doesn't know. 
as soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Knuffle Bunny? <gasps> and now it looks like Trixie's dad realizes what he forgot. The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked. But Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Hmm. Poor Trixie, she looks so sad. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until... And those were the first words Trixie ever said. <laughs> oh, is that a cute story. Oh, and then I like to look at the back. Oh, I see them. The whole family's walking home and they're so happy now. Trixie's hugging her Knuffle Bunny. glad Trixie found her Knuffle Bunny. And if you like hearing stories about Trixie and her Knuffle Bunny, there are two more books about them I think you'd enjoy. This is, this is the first one we just read. Oh, this is a good one. This is the second one where Trixie gets a friend. Oh, and this one is a very special one where Trixie and Knuffle Bunny visit her grandparents. Check them out. Now I have something I want to show you. Here's my most favorite, most special stuffed animal. It's my dinosaur, Linda. Hey, Linda. Linda, where are you? Come on out. These, these kids are nice. Oh, oh, look, she's here. Oh, hi, Linda. Oh, Linda, say hi to our friends. Hi. Oh, I would feel so sad if my dinosaur Linda got lost. And I bet Linda would be sad too, right? Oh, well, well, thanks for coming, Linda. You know, I had a lot of fun with you kids today. I hope you liked my story. That Mo Willems guy is a terrific author. Let's take a look at some of the other books he's written. Do you know Elephant and Piggy? They are best friends and they have a lot of silly books together. These are some of my favorites. And Leonardo the Terrible Monster is a great book about a little boy and a monster who tries to scare him. Ooh, let's see you try to be scary. Um, show me your scariest face. Ready? Go! Ah! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, that is scary! Here's my scariest face. And, and the pigeon here, he's a great character too. The pigeon always has a little something up his sleeve. Like when the pigeon wants to drive the bus or when he doesn't want to take a bath. 
Hmm. But my favorite book is this one right here. The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog. Ooh, I love hot dogs so much. And in this book, a sneaky, sly duckling comes along and wants a bite. What will the pigeon do? Hmm. What would you do? Pigeon, what are you going to do? Hmm. And finally, you've heard of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but have you heard of Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs? Oh, it's a little different, but I like this version better. It's so funny, and I love dinosaurs, just like Linda. Mo Willems has so many great books and you can find them at the library to check out and read at home too. Did you know Mo Willems illustrates his books too? That means he draws all the pictures. And I like how Knuffle Bunny's pictures look a little different. Do you see how it looks like a real picture? And then someone drew Trixie and her daddy in the picture. I think that's so neat. I tried to make my own picture like this too. Let's see if we can show you. Hmm, let's watch. Oh, oh yay, there it is. There's the picture I made. My mommy found a picture of one of my favorite things the slide at the park. And then I colored me and my dinosaur Linda over there and I glued us on. Do you like it? You can make a picture like this too and be an illustrator just like Mo Willems. Thanks again for joining me for my very first story time today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a great day. Mwah! Goodbye.